Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. We were reviewing some liability concerns for PSA, and we came across the idea like, why are you guys not offering your own form of self-defense insurance? Not even in a pitch, like, hey, bring me on your team. Uh, we got called in the next day, and they said they wanted to start a company, and lo and behold, Right to Bear came about, and um, we teed it up to launch right at Black Friday to kind of do a little bit of a promotional giveaway. You know, at the time, we were doing the, the customized lowers with, uh, you know, you had the choice of a lower or a discount. So, um, yeah, we're now almost five months in, which is pretty exciting. Um, golly, we're growing like crazy, which is amazing. Um, I think what it showed is the need and the, the I, don't, I don't want to say the wrong word. I think just really the need and the want for this type of insurance. And so what this type of insurance is, you know, when you think self-defense, like, like if I hit somebody over the head and what, what, did, what is the insurance actually covering? Well, mm -hmm. More times than not, you know that if you use a firearm in self-defense now, whether a firearm, a bat, your hand, your knee, um, mm -hmm. you know, this, this little don't step on the wet floor sign, the little mop sign, if you hit somebody over the head and knock them out, mm -hmm. right, you're going to get sued. And if you – not only will you get sued, you might go to jail as well. And a lot of times it's both this coverage um, that covers the attorney fees – um, and then, heaven forbid, if you were to lose in a civil case and you owed a lump sum of money, we're actually going to cover those damages as well. So, you know, really, really interesting stat here. I don't think we shared this on the last time we talked. One of the CWP instructors for PSA, um, he's close friends with an attorney friend of his, and he, the attorney, told him that if he has somebody reach out to him, him that had been in an arm incident that he won't even take the case without $65,000 up front. Wow. Okay. That, that for me was like just so eye opening. It was so eye opening to hear that you're going to need at least that much money up front just to get coverage, just to just, or let me run that back, just to get an attorney to defend you, let alone you have to sit there and try to fight on your own or get a court appointed attorney. Um, so where right to bear comes in, right to bear was obviously was formed to protect Palmetto state armory's customers. And then now, um, to the rest of the nation, um, no different than, you know, I know a lot of the individuals listen have probably heard of USCCA, us law shield. Mm -hmm. It's really kind of funny because we all are doing the same thing, but we go about it a different way. Whereas, USCCA has an association where you have all these extra perks with an insurance policy. US Law Shield is a basically a legal um, prepaid legal service that you know if you're ever in an incident, they'll give you an attorney um, and they'll utilize you know you'll utilize their services during the you know a, a court case um, mm -hmm. if you ever need it. So there are some things that are similar, Hank, like you talked about. There are some things that um, are blended together. There's no um, I'll tell you, there's only one perfect solution, and that's right to bear. Um, but there is, uh, <laughs> there, there are a few um, things that we are looking to improve on our plan to make us the best in the country. Um, but yeah, we're excited, man. I think as as uh, as we continue to evolve and get our name out in the market and continue to look at ways that we can truly become the best of the best in the industry, um, you know, it's only going to be. It's only going to be um, positive from here, but I think mm -hmm. the most um, important part for us is that we actually get to work in an area that we're passionate about. We're mm -hmm. Second Amendment guys. We're insurance guys. We believe in protecting people when they need us most. And, um, you know, later on, I want to talk about the uh, – we actually had our first incident um, about three weeks ago. And, mm -hmm. uh, Interesting. I want to hear about this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, be, being able to hold this customer's hand – through the process, uh, fortunately, there was no suit brought up, but, you know, the process of I've been in an emergency, who do I call, what comes next? And I want to share how we handled it as well, mm -hmm. because I thought it, 
Um, it was our, our first real, um, real life experience where somebody, I mean, literally had an accidental discharge, shot a bullet through their wall into their neighbor's condo. Mm. Um, fortunately nobody was home, but, um, the guy was literally trembling in fear, thinking like, oh, my God, I could have just shot somebody. Like, what comes mm-hmm. next? And yeah. That's where, oh, yeah. That, that's where Right to Bear comes in. And that, that's what makes yeah. you know, me and, and my, my job so special every day. Yeah. I think when we were talking, one of the things I, said, I was saying to you is that, you know, um, obviously you guys are relatively new. You've been doing this here. I think it's a it's a good thing that um, that you're partnered with PSA. I think they're doing a lot of things, and and it's a, of course a big positive, right? But at the end of the day, what's really important, um, especially from my from my position, if there's folks out there who hear about you through us and then they sign up for this. You know, I, I'm not I don't want to do something where it's just like, oh, this is awesome. Sign up for it and get it. I really care about the money that folks out there wind up spending, especially if they hear about something from us. And that rubber is going to meet the road one day. And it's really important to to know and see how you guys uh, deal with things. Right. Yeah. Because So that's the important part of it. Um, before we get into that, I don't know if Patrick has any questions. Um, no. Um- OK. No, I nothing offhand. I do want to hear about the incident, though. That's right. interesting. Yeah, last time Perry and I talked, he said that nobody had used the service yet. So that was that's an interesting update. Yeah, yeah. So I, I mean, let's let's just dive into it now. I mean, so you know, ironically, it was on the Sunday that we were at the gathering. Um, so the way that we had set up right to bear was that if there is an incident, we have a twenty four seven hotline. First. Um, it's a specific number, and the first thing that you're supposed to do if you've been in an incident and when you sign up for Right to Bear, all the information is in your member portal, you're going to call the hotline. The hotline's going to answer and say, have you been in an emergency? That's the first thing. The only thing you need to say to the hotline is yes or no. Don't, don't elaborate yes or no. If yes, they'll, the next question they'll ask you is, do you have an attorney that you want to speak with that we should get connected with? Or do you want a right to bear appointed attorney? We give you that choice to choose whether your best friend next door neighbor, you would want to defend you or you don't have anybody in your, your network contacts and you want a right to bear specific attorney. Okay. Fortunately, guy said, Hey, I had just shot, was cleaning my gun and there was a bullet in the chamber, didn't realize it, shot, shot the gun. He's living in a condo. Bullet goes through the wall, in through his neighbor's wall. Actually think it cleared through his neighbor's condo oh. into the other condo. Nope. So Oh no, that's uncomfortable. So yeah. he he yeah. literally calls like like we listen to the recording, like he is like full blown panic. Right mm-hmm. now, this is yeah, just an accidental yeah. discharge thing. He hadn't even shot somebody, so I can't even imagine what that. Well, he didn't. Would be like. Yeah, he. Well, he had no idea what exactly he's yes. done at this point. He, and and if I could just go back for a second here, uh, there's probably a couple of things um, in this that I'm sure people right now are screaming at the screen or even wondering. So first of all, you say that when people call up, you just want to know yes or no of whether or not they were in an emergency. Um, is that because uh, people calling up that phone call is recorded and could be uh, used as evidence in court? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. Yeah. So you want to you want to keep it as short and sweet, yes or no, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. end it right there. Yeah. That way, okay. that way, attorney client privilege. After that, yes, I've been in emergency. Yep. The mm-hmm. next call goes over to an attorney. That way, boom, att- attorney client privilege is immediately immediately. Mm-hmm. Est- yeah, I'm so. It looks like we're breaking up a little bit. Uh, it looks like we're breaking up here a little bit. I don't know if that's. Yeah, hold on a second, Perry. Sorry. Literally. Okay, I don't know if you're hearing me. Yeah, I think we were breaking up a little bit here. I'm not sure if that's me or not. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not Patrick because his internet is super amazingly awesome. It's not me. Yeah. So I thought Lola was going to come and uh, uh, check on my signal here, make sure I'm I'm good. I've um, got. Looks like I've got four. I'm, according to my Wi-Fi screen, it looks like I've got the full juice here. Oh, okay. It's yeah. It's coming from the host. 
<laughs> it's coming from within the house. <laughs> well, I'm in the van. I'm in the van, first of all. I'm in it's the coming van. coming from within the van. But what's happening for me over here is that both of you guys are dialed in oh. here, and then I'm sending a signal in and out, in and out. A whole bunch of yeah. different things are going on. So um, I have contacted Lola to uh, come and check on it for me. So just please do bear with me. Um, if any of you out there have a wife, you know if you ask her to do something – she will say yes and then find 10 other things to do on the way to get over there. And I'm sure I'll get in trouble because I'm even saying <laughs> this to you. But basically, that's how things go down go around down. here. Yeah. So, I'm OK. So, yeah, I interrupted you. So first thing to know for folks out there is if you, um, you know, you get into something like this, whether it's I'm assuming, you know, that's this is all across the table for anything that you're using. You know, you want to be uh, very careful with what information you put out. Um, and then the other thing that came up for me is that um, you, you were saying that people have a choice. I think with some services that exist out there, and I'm not knocking anyone, I think there's just differences. I really want to kind of point those out for people and help people make a decision. Like in-network and out-network. They have like network attorneys, things like that. Yeah, I think this is an yeah. important distinction of what right to bear is, right? Because some yeah. places you're basically doing a prepayment plan for for uh, attorney coverage where yeah. you have to go with the attorneys within that system. Um, but it, right to bear is not that, right? Am I right or wrong? Yeah, right, right to bear is not. There's two main differences when it comes to an attor uh, a, a, a prepaid legal service like a U.S. law shield mm -hmm. is you actually can't get coverage with them unless you use their attorney. So we're, a, we're an insurance policy. So what that means is that um, it doesn't matter. We're providing um, – first dollar coverage to whoever your attorney is in that process, right? So it's like if you were in a uh, car accident, right? Travelers isn't going to require you to use their attorneys, right? They're going to give you that option, but they're not going to require you to do it. And then the second thing is that those prepaid legal services, they don't offer civil damages coverage. And what that is is so, say you were in civil court, um, you're not going to jail, but you shot the dude in the shoulder and, you know, hospital bills and mental anguish and all that was $150,000, right? Mm -hmm. The prepaid legal service is only for attorney fees, not for any damages or judgments. See, that's a huge difference. Our insurance product, not to get insurance nerd on you, is mm -hmm. to indemnify. Indemnify means to make you whole mm -hmm. as if the incident had never happened. So... Our policy is going to cover you not only the defense costs, but then the damages if that were to to come up. Yeah. So those it's are not, those are two major distinctions. Yeah, I think it's an important difference. Uh, every everyone, everything like this is going to have different things. And what I'm trying to do here is find one, find out for myself, and then find out for you guys and help everyone out there. Uh, you know, make a decision on something. Now, obviously, you know, you know, we have a relationship with the guys from Right to Bear. So, of course, you know, that needs to be right up there. They don't sponsor us or anything like that. But, you know, um, if, if you guys, I think Lola is going to have uh, the link out there for you. I don't know if we have a specific link or anything like that to um to to sign up but i think we're we're gonna have some special things we're gonna offer to people so i don't want to just like say oh hey go sign up for this thing i want to help you guys out so if you have questions hit us with that and, and we'll get into it okay so i know i cut you off i don't know if patrick had a question there about not, the not any okay. questions it's just <clears throat> i i've never been an insurance person um mm -hmm. I, I don't personally we, you have to have it because the state requires it for certain things like driving your car, think about homeowners insurance, stuff like that. And it can mm -hmm. be a good idea depending on if you have tons of money, it might not be a good idea. Um, but this is one of those things that watching the cases that have come down the pike lately and how prosecutors are becoming more and more political and not just looking yeah. at a case and going, yeah, we, we, we may not win this one, but – uh, we want to take him to trial anyways because mm -hmm. the, the pain is in the process. The punishment is in the process of taking him to trial, mm -hmm. racking up easily 250 grand right off the bat, and they know that. 
they I mean, they're the not tool. looking at justice, man. They're thinking about, hey, no. what if I want to run for governor? Or I'm going to have to. Uh, <laughs> that's it. The, the woman, that, that's uh, the problem. Yeah. The woman that took the uh, McClowski's trial used it immediately after for marketing material to yep. try to raise money. <laughs> so, yeah. again, um, isn't that isn't that what's going on? Isn't that what's going on with, um, uh, I think, one, the NRA in New York? But as well as uh, the New York Attorney General, right, going after Trump, isn't that? Uh, Basically, are those people I, running I, for office? <laughs> yeah, I would say oh, so. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, but it's well, yeah. It's, that's the that's the problem, guys. Is mm-hmm. in that if you want to nail it down, you know, in our market research that we've continuously done, the people that need right to bear are not the folks in South Carolina. They they need it too. The South Carolina, Florida. Uh, my bad. That's my bad. There, I am not paying attention to that countdown clock. Sorry, too, <laughs> too many, right now. too many things going on. I blame Lola. Well, yeah, yikes. Well, I think, well, yeah. I think it, it, uh, she's not here now. She left. <laughs> no, it's not Lola's fault. I wasn't paying attention. Go ahead. I'm sorry. You got no, interrupted. Well, I, there. I, I think that it, mm-hmm. it, 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 all of this conversation, it's all positive because. Mm-hmm. You know, you want to bring light to what really happens. And what I was saying is the people that desperately, desperately need right to bear in this type of insurance are our friends in Oregon, uh, California, Mm -hmm. Illinois, New York um, City, New York, New York, Washington and New Jersey. Um, Unfortunately, we can't offer our product in those states. The attorney generals Mm -hmm. have already cut us out, not just right to bear, but this type of insurance in general. Yeah, Wait, they can dictate what sort of insurance is offered to a person that wants to pay for it? Yep. That's insane. I that can't, can't be. That just, yeah. That seems that That's, seems illegal. <laughs> well, I mean, these guys are doing back. lots of illegal or, un, un, oh, well, yeah. I don't want to say unconstitutional, but definitely yes, an infringement. That is what it is, hey? Yeah, it's definitely an infringement of your civil rights and civil yeah. liberties. Yeah, no, it, yeah. it's, you know, it's crazy because they, it's just a form of gun control and it's like, Oh, well, if we can if we can cut this out, then folks won't, well, maybe won't want to buy a gun. Look, right? yeah. I know what you're going to say, Hank, look at the New York subway incident and the proof that the cops are not there to protect you. They're there to clean up the mess. I mm-hmm. hate to say it, but that's what it yeah. is. Yeah. I mean, there, well, they can't yeah. have a cop on every train going through New York. It's not possible. No, it's not possible. And our friend Luis Valdez of GOA Florida uh, put up an article talking about just that. And he's he was a, a police officer. Uh, he was in law enforcement here in Florida for years uh, and recently retired. But you know what? The other thing I was going to say, Patrick, um, on that, I mean, I don't want to like stick to this point. But the other thing about California, for example, is th- these guys are trying to force people to have insurance. So why would they deny people having insurance? I don't get it. Like, they want to force you. Oh, you can't have guns unless you have insurance, no, but we don't want you to have time, insurance. What? Last time Perry and I talked, uh, right okay. to bear does is uh, classified as like the proper insurance for the this forced insurance in California, right? Yeah. Okay. So Cali is one that will allow oh, you to have Oh, I'm insurance. sorry. So Cal- Cali was not on your list you just said. What were the states on the list you just said? New York, New, York. New Jersey, and Washington. What? I don't Okay. Like, does it make any sense? You want to... Okay. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Okay. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.